it's Audrey. I've been getting a ton of questions and requests about my diet and if I could do a what I eat in a day video. So I've decided to share that with you and also some snacks that I like to have on a normal day to day basis. There's a lot that I want to go over so let's just get into it. First thing I like to start off with when I wake up in the morning is to drink chlorophyll water. Chlorophyll is considered a superfood as it's believed to have a ton of health benefits such as detoxifying the body, improving digestion, and even fighting off cancer. What I do is buy liquid chlorophyll concentrate at the health food store and then I mix several drops of that with a glass of water. I really enjoy the taste of this because the one I have is peppermint flavored which I really like and it's also kind of an incentive for me to drink more water throughout the day. Once I've had my water, I also like to have a cup of coffee so I feel more alive in the mornings. My husband and I have an espresso machine at home so he'll usually make me an almond milk latte with two shots and a little bit of coconut sugar. I like almond milk because for the most part I've cut most dairy products out of my diet. I just feel like dairy usually leaves me with an upset stomach so I try not to have any. I will have at least one latte a day, if not more, because I am a complete caffeine addict. Moving on to breakfast, I do have a video on my channel already on some vegan breakfast ideas. I'm actually not vegan as I do eat fish and seafood, but I don't eat any red meat or poultry or dairy like I mentioned before, so I tend to eat a lot of vegan meals. One vegan breakfast that I post on my Instagram a lot is the smoothie bowl. I don't have a definite recipe, but um, I will share the types of things that I like to add in. I start off with almond milk, and then I add a bunch of frozen fruit, and peaches and berries are usually my favorite. Then I like to add a ton of spinach, some almond or peanut butter, followed by chia seeds, flax seeds, and hemp seeds, just to add some fiber, protein, and other vitamins and minerals to the mix. Once that's blended, I'll just transfer it to a bowl, and some of the things I like to top it off with are shredded coconut, almonds, cacao nibs, some more seeds, and strawberries or bananas if I have them. For lunch, I typically have a sandwich or soup or salad type of meal, but on this day I decided to have just a kale Caesar salad for lunch. The salad that you see me making is actually a recipe from the sponsor of this video, which is a meal delivery service that I've been using for a couple of months now and it's called Purple Carrot. What I like about this service is that all the meals are delivered to your door with all of the ingredients measured out already and just ready to be put together. All of the recipes are 100% plant-based, vegan, and really inventive when it comes to the recipes and ingredients, I think. I wouldn't normally try making the types of things that I get in my box, so it's fun preparing and eating something that I would typically go to a restaurant to have. If you're interested in trying it out, I will have more info about Purple Carrot in the description box, and I also have a blog post where I go a lot further into detail about using the service if you want to know more. A couple of hours after lunch is when I tend to snack during the day. If I can, I will most likely grab a bottle of kombucha from the health food store, which, if you didn't know, is a probiotic carbonated fermented tea known to promote gut health and better digestion. My favorite is Brew Doctor Kombucha, which I mentioned in my Portland vlogs if you watched those before. Other snacks I like to have throughout the day are raw almonds, roasted seaweed, and sometimes, if I'm craving something sweet, vegan chocolate chip cookies. At last, dinner is the meal where I usually have my fish or seafood. My husband is actually the one that usually cooks us dinner most nights, and on this night he decided to make us a Japanese-inspired dish as we absolutely love Japanese food. Here he's making us his version of onigiri, and for this meal he just made some garlic oil to saute and quickly sear a tuna steak he seasoned with salt and pepper. After that he chopped it up and mixed it with the garlic oil, soy sauce, and some honey. Then taking some white rice that he molded into a triangular shape, he created a little pocket that he filled with the tuna mixture, added more rice to cover that up, and then he kind of finished it off with a little sheet of seaweed and some sesame seeds. So that's going to be all for my what I eat in a day video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the types of meals and snacks and things that I like to eat. Please let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!